Hey, so just in case you're wondering, I am still working on this. I was just getting a little further ahead in the process before I made any more videos. As you can see, the cluster's working. I've got a Kubernetes dashboard with my kube system namespace, and I've got a bunch of pods in it. So let's get into creating certificates and a certificate authority using Ansible and OpenSSL. So part six, Raspberry Pi, Kubernetes Home Lab, with the exception that we're deploying the entire thing using Ansible and making the process repeatable. So in part six, we're using Ansible to create certificates and a certificate authority for those certificates that we're gonna generate for Kubernetes components in our cluster and applications. And I did find out, um, reading through documentation as I was going through this process, deploying the dash, uh, the cluster and everything, KubeDM handles a lot of this overhead. You don't actually have to do this part, uh, but if you wanted to pass extra arguments into KubeDM init, create your own certificates for all the components, the scheduler, the controller, etcd, you're, you can do that, you're more than welcome to, and this comes in handy when you start creating applications and you need to generate uh, self-signed certificates for those applications. So creating certs and keys for Kate's cluster. So we're gonna be using OpenSSL module uh, in Ansible. And OpenSSL, there's, I believe, three different modules. There's OpenSSL uh, CSR, and uh, there's two more. And this one's just like OpenSSL CSR is for generating certificate signing requests, um, but there's one for generating uh, keys as well. And there's another one, I forget what it's for. Uh, but that's in the README. We're using OpenSSL version 1.1.f. Uh, uh, and don't need to worry about the Heartbleed vulnerability with this version of OpenSSL. So no worries there. Uh, we're going to be fetching all the certs we create. So we're going to be creating these certs on a node in my home lab that's not a part of the cluster. It's a separate node. It's a separate Raspberry Pi. Uh, and because of the way Ansible works, if I create those files on that node, uh, if I want to put them on other nodes, um, there's different ways to do that, but the way I chose to do it was I chose to fetch the certificates back to the controller and from the controller distribute those certificates back out to the rest of the cluster. Um, everything's stored in source code management, GitHub, link on the right, and will be in the description. And manual commands are included in the readme. Ignore over here where it says Nginx. Um, in the readme for the certificates role, I've only declared the manual commands for creating the CA, the CA key, and the CS, the CA CSR, um, because once you have that formula, you can apply that to any self-signed certificate that you want to create. So the certificates role. Um, so we've got the main tasks, um, no templates. We do have variables, which we use in the tasks. And then we have a lot of files that get, again, I fetched all the files, I created them on one node, I fetched them all back to the controller, and they all went straight into files. So if I go ahead, let's go through main.yaml, right? Um, and like I said, I found out when I was deploying a cluster that I didn't need to create all the certificates for, you know, I've got kube admin, I've got master certs, worker nodes, uh, kube proxy certs, scheduler certs, controller manager certs, um, service count key pair, well, that would come in handy. Dashboard certs, that will you know, that'll come in handy. You don't need to create all these. Really all you need is the CA, um, but you can create these and use them later if you want to. Uh, and just an example, let me jump ahead a little bit. So if I go to bootstrap cluster, right? Um, one of the tasks to deploy kubeadm cluster is kubeadm init. You can pass, pass a dash dash config option into there, right? So I do a kubeadm init dash dash config equals, and I pass this entire configuration where I have an external etcd, uh, and I define the CA file, cert file, and key file uh, for the master for etcd. So you can use it like that. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Kubeadm will take care of all that for you. But back to the certificates role. Um, so you have to create a directory to store all the stuff. I'm doing this on my management node, which again is in my home lab, but not part of the cluster. We create open SSL private key. Yep. So that's one open SSL module for Ansible where you can create a private key. Uh, and all you have to do is define the path. There are different options. Um, you can see in the readme, there is documentation on the different modules, right? So open SSL private key module, 
Um, let me just click one of these real quick. See if it decides to open. Open. Um, there's the OpenSSL CSR module, and there's the OpenSSL certificate module. So you create a, you would use OpenSSL private key to create a private key. And again, there's different options. Um, you know, you can define um, different parameters, uh, so on, so on. If you're more interested in that, look into the documentation. But you'll create a uh, OpenSSL <clears throat> private key and OpenSSL CSR from the private key certificate signing request, and then you'll create a certificate from the certificate signing request and the private key that you generated. And voila, you've got a certificate. So you create a CA, CA key, CA CSR, and then we generate a certificate for the CA. And then we use a uh, certificate key um, when we generate the rest of our keys. Uh, so as an example, let's see, I'm using own CA, right? Uh, and I have to pass my own certificate authorities CA key dot private dot PEM into um, the certificate uh, when I generate certificates uh, for other parts of the cluster or for other applications, right? You have to tell the certificate signing requests and the certificates um, what CA do you want to use? What CA key do you want to use? So for that, we first have to generate our own CSA. So if you just go through this um, and you kind of pick out what you want, um, what certs you want to generate for your cluster, run this. Um, let's see, look at some of the fetch real quick. I do emphasize the adding this roles slash files directory to your .git ignore. Um, so you don't push all of these certs in the slash files directory of this role up to GitHub. Uh, if it's a home lab or development environment, it's not so much a big deal, but best security practices. Um, so we find all the certs we want using a wildcard pattern. So I'm just picking up all the files in this directory, and then I'm using the fetch module uh, to fetch them all to role certificates files on the controller. Uh, and then I distribute this based on, you know, worker one, worker two, worker three, you know, they all get their respective certs, proxy certs, the CA cert, uh, cert the master gets who controller, scheduler, uh, service account, master, all that good stuff. Um, and then to the readme, if you want to do these all manually, right? Um, there's some steps on adding the trust your own CA to Firefox and to a Debian based host, which is what we're running on, on Raspberry Pi. Some documentation on the Ansible modules. Um, some errors I've encountered when using these modules. And then again, I'm unlike other roles where I define the entire, I laid out all the manual commands. I only laid out the manual commands uh, for creating the CA and the CA CSR and the CA cert because it's all almost the same. So you would install OpenSSL, you would generate a private key, create a CSR using a .config file that you could define like this. It would pass all that information in um, automatically, so you wouldn't have to sit there and type, 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 type. And then uh, there is some documentation in here and using extensions, uh, because using extensions with OpenSL, uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve, found that out. And then you would create a uh, CA cert uh, off that CSR and the key that you created. And then we'll probably get into bootstrapping the cluster in the next lesson.